Hey folks, I'm Travis Vigil with Dell Technologies and you've joined me for yet another episode of Talking Tech with Travis where we'll stop at nothing. For those of you that know me, you know that I love to run and I like to start off these episodes by finding parallels in my work at Dell with my passion for running. Now today's topic is multi-cloud and the best analogy I could think of was, well, just a marathon. Because sometimes in a marathon it doesn't matter how much you've trained or how well you've planned. But race day comes and you start to run and it's just hard. And that's the situation with a lot of our customers in multi-cloud. 65% of them are using more than one cloud and many agree that it's just hard. Sometimes we call this situation multi-cloud by default. Now in tough marathon running situations, nothing beats having a strong running companion with you to pace you, to motivate you, to provide counsel. And that's exactly what you'll have with Dell and our multi-cloud initiative, where we strive to have customers execute what we refer to as multi-cloud by default. So today I'm joined by Caitlin Gordon, Vice President of Product Management for Multi-Cloud, who's been my running companion on Dell's multi-cloud marathon, and is going to talk to you about how Dell can be yours. Welcome, Caitlin, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me, but I'm, I'm not going to really run with you in the real world. As you know, I'm more of a sprinter, so no marathons for me, but fictional this, marathon this, I'm in. This is a virtual, you know, uh, metaphorical marathon. That thing. is my kind of marathon. I'm in for that. Awesome. So, hey, to, to start off, people often don't think of Dell when talking about cloud, especially public cloud or the hyperscalers. Can you give me a little bit of... Uh, uh, history on what Dell's been up to in the public clouds? Absolutely. I've heard this before, but I've got a little, a little known fun fact for you. We've actually been in the multi-cloud world well before we ever called it multi-cloud for a long time. And that's been in the space of data protection. We heard from our customers long ago, they needed to protect data to the cloud, in the cloud, protect their applications in the cloud. So we've had our data protection software in the public cloud for a number of years. In fact, today we protect over 10 exabytes of data Whoa. in the public cloud. You said exabytes? E e that's with an E, exabytes. Yes, it, I can't even fathom how much data that actually is. And that's across 1,500 different companies. So this is a lot of different companies of all different sizes protecting their data in the public cloud with data protection. And I was in data protection back when this started, back in the day, I won't say how many years ago that was. And a lot of what we talked about was deduplication and efficiency and cost savings. Still true today. PowerProtect software in the public clouds up to 80% more cost effective than the competition. We know that's still important. We also know that ransomware protection has really climbed the list of major concern. So that's really where most of our conversations start and really where our incremental investment is as it comes to data protection software in the cloud. Yeah, that's a, that's a great bit of history and frankly, a great uh, platform on which to build. Now, I think it was what, three weeks ago, we were at Dell Tech World. And uh, from my perspective, Dell Tech World this year was the multi-cloud uh, show. Uh, you were up on stage demonstrating some pretty cool stuff. Uh, can you tell uh, folks, uh, give them a summary of what we announced and why it's so important? Absolutely. This, I've done I've done a few of these Dell Tech Worlds. May, we'll call it more than 15. We'll just leave it there. This was the most fun I have ever had at a Dell Technologies World. Uh, so this, it, was, it was it was fantastic, Caitlin. I mean, and seeing you up on stage, you know, in front of 7,000 of your closest friends, uh, that was kind of the highlight of my Dell Tech World experience. It, it was very fun seeing all 7,000 from the stage and seeing all. 7,000 in real life in three dimensions. It was very, very exciting. It doesn't feel like it was three weeks ago. It was, uh, feels almost like a lifetime ago <laughs> since we were there. Um, but we announced a lot and it's really part of the journey we've been on this whole year with our multi-cloud announcements started in January. We continued that in Vegas. Here's the headlines, what we announced. Part one is an extension of what I was just talking about with our data protection software. Last year, we announced our cyber recovery software is coming to AWS. 
Of course, the number one question I've gotten on my multi-cloud world tour, when is it coming to Azure? So very excited that we announced that it's coming to Azure next and that we've added our CyberSense software to AWS. So continuing to add to data protection. Now, the next thing our customers have really been asking for, it's all about storage. How do I get what you've already done with data protection? How do I get that same experience with storage? That's what Project Alpine is about. Project Alpine is bringing our storage software to all of the major hyperscalers, AWS, Azure, and Google. But that's not just one storage. We are the leader in storage in all categories. So it's block, file, and object storage to the public clouds. And that's all about having that consistent experience, that consistent data layer from on-prem to the public clouds. You don't have to refactor applications. You don't have to learn new tools. No need to reskill your team. Now, we announced Project Alpine in January, but it was a whole lot more fun in May because we actually got to show what this is starting to look like as we build this out. One example was our block software in AWS, and another was a file service with Azure just to give you a little bit more peek behind the curtain of what we're building with Project Alpine. And one other important piece, we've talked about the ecosystem being incredibly important in our multi-cloud strategy. We also have now announced our first of its kind partnership with Snowflake, being able to be able to read data from an object store, an e a Dell object store on-prem and leverage that in cloud-based analytics from Snowflake. So not only do we announce that partnership, but Snowflake was there with us as well to demonstrate what that looks like. Yeah, it was it was amazing the uh, the progress that we've made in the last year when it comes to to multi cloud, and you know when you were on stage with Jen Felch, Dell's uh, CIO, um, you actually did a demonstration of some of these capabilities, and Jen spent a good good amount of time about talking about what she had done with Dell infrastructure to enable developers uh, within Dell. And uh, one of the threads that, that we had through the entire Dell tech world was that of developers. And you can't talk about developers without talking about cloud native applications. And you can't talk about cloud native applications without talking about containers. So tell me uh, what we announced with respect to that stuff. Yeah, there, there was a lot there. And, and what was really exciting is to be up there with Jen. And Jen has done such an incredible transformation of what we've done in our own IT department with Dell Digital. And what they have found and what we're on a mission to help our customers with is how do we increase that productivity of developers? Studies show, and we saw this internally, that developers are spending 20% of their time actually writing code. That is, that is one day in a five-day work week. That doesn't that doesn't seem like the best utilization of a very scarce resource. A scarce and you know they're they're not the uh, least expensive resource we have either. So, so yeah. we need to change that. That's really the mission. And there's a lot that goes into that. It, and and the crux of it is how do you accelerate DevOps adoption, right? And one of the things that we've announced there's a lot that goes into it. We probably need a whole nother episode just to talk about this piece. Uh, but one of the things we talked about is our upcoming cloud native uh, uh, ability to have mobility for cloud native applications as well. We demonstrated that on stage as well, because this is about enabling our customers to accelerate their DevOps journeys, but they're all starting from different places. And they also have different ways they want to attack that path. Some really want kind of the, what I call the choose your own adventure path to a DevOps environment. I want a flexibility. I want to choose my different storage platforms. I want to choose my cloud operating environment. And for that, we're providing the APIs. We're providing the automation to support that, CSI drivers to support all of our different uh, storage products for every different Kubernetes distribution, and then our container storage modules for those ad advanced data services like mobility that we demonstrated at Dell Technologies World. Yeah, that was really great to see. And you know, you said something in your in your answer about um, people starting at different points. Um, we have uh, a lot of customers out there, and one of the things I love about working for Dell is that we we're all about customer choice. And we're, we're all about providing pragmatic solutions no matter where you're starting from and where you're going to. In many of the conversations I've had with customers related to multi-cloud, the, the, the topic of silos come, comes up. You know, I'm in cloud X 
and Cloud Y, and I have uh, continued investment in on-premises, and I'm starting to use co-location more, and I have this issue of distributed data coming, you know, at me like, uh, you know, like a tidal wave from the edge. Um, it's a it's a real challenge for many of our customers. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on you know how what we're doing can help break down some of these silos. Yeah, it, it's been interesting. Um, I'm finding that we all do agree we're in a multi cloud world. That's great. We finally agree on something. But the reality for our customers is it really just means multi contract, right? I've signed with. I've got a primary hyperscaler, maybe AWS or Azure, probably have a secondary in there. Maybe I buy someone and I end up with yet another public cloud. And then I've got SaaS providers and I've got you know the data center providers in there as well. So how do you manage that? Our approach is really twofold. Part one is how do we help our customers have that consistent data plane from their on-prem environment to all of the different public clouds? That is what Project Alpine is about, and that's what we've been doing with data protection. Part two is how do we bring, all right, so that's bringing our software from on-prem into the public clouds and having that consistent operations. Part two is how do we bring those cloud software, the cloud operating environments to our infrastructure? So you have both the data layer that's consistent, but also that cloud native environment that's consistent from the cloud to on-prem. And between those two, you have the flexibility to support whatever you need in whatever model you need, but you also have the ability to do that with the choice of which cloud environments and which types of infrastructure. Yeah, and, and I, I think that uh, that provides a, a lot of really important capabilities that are, you know, it's, it's gonna help us take customers from, you know, the world you talked about, which in some ways happened you know, and it, it happened by, by default, and now we can start planning it and make it happen by design. So it's 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 really exciting what we're doing, Caitlin. I want to thank you for being my running companion over these last couple of years as we've worked to you know build on that foundation of data protection and get all of these initial offerings announced and and some of them into market. Feel like we finished uh, you know a marathon together at Dell Tech World, but. For customers, we're just starting together. So um, where can they go to learn more about what we're doing? It, it does feel like we've gone through a marathon and yet we just started another. So maybe we'll call the whole thing an ultra marathon. Uh, so to, to find more, maybe some maps for that ultra marathon, uh, you can go to dell.com slash cloud, all sorts of great assets out there. We also are continuing to share a lot through all of our social media channels. You may have found us through LinkedIn, for example. So you can always, follow myself as well as our social media outlets to find a whole lot more because this this ultra marathon is just getting started. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 early innings to mix metaphors. You gotta stick to the marathon, the running marathon. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I don't I don't know why. Run I around base. the bases, maybe we'll allow that. I don't know. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you so much uh, for joining us. I hope to have you on a future episode. Um, look forward to, to hearing more about what we're doing with multi-cloud, and I know that uh, our customers will as well. Uh, to all of you, thank, for, thank you for joining us for another episode of Talking Tech with Travis, where we'll stop at nothing, and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>